Longo and His New Shoes, written by Jean Chaffee. Longo was a very handsome male Maasai giraffe who was born in Africa. He came to Fresno when he was four years old. Skyla and Fresnella greeted him excitedly because he was so good looking. They batted their long eyelashes, hoping that he would notice them. Dr. Chaffee, the zoo veterinarian, was very excited about Longo, but he noticed that something was wrong with his back legs. Longo had a bad limp. Swish, swish, went Longo's tail. Dr. Chaffee got out his giant foot clippers and trimmed his hooves, but it didn't help. Longo still limped. What's wrong, Longo? Dr. Chaffee looked in his books and called his vet friends. What can I do? Longo's in a lot of pain and he needs help. Doc was very frustrated. One day he got a bright idea. He called a farrier who, know, who makes shoes for horses. I want you to make giant horseshoes for a giraffe. No problem, said the farrier. Your giraffe is just a big horse, but we have to put him to sleep. I am not going to work on such a big animal while he is awake. It took 13 zookeepers to hold down Longo after he was asleep. Two held each leg, two held his head, two on his neck, and one on his tail. Yikes! Hang on! Longo jerked his leg and the zookeeper went flying. He has such strong muscles. Splash! The farrier made two horseshoes the size of salad plates, and he matched them to the giraffe's back feet. Now we have to add a high heel to the shoe, said Doc. The heels, oh wait, he needs to lift to make his leg muscles stronger. Then the farrier nailed them onto Longo's feet. When Longo woke up, he looked at his feet. Good grief, what happened to me while I was asleep? There was something weird on my feet. Longo tried to stand up but he wobbled and shuffled his legs when he started to walk. I feel like a girl in high heels, he thought. He turned red because everyone was watching him. How embarrassing. Soon Longo was walking better. Dr. Chaffee noticed that he was no longer limping and his legs were stronger. Skyla also noticed that he was walking better. She strolled over and rubbed his neck. You are so handsome and strong, she whispered in his ear. After one month and three days, the farrier took off the high-heeled shoes. Wow, that feels better, thought Longo as he chased the female giraffes around the pen. I like this, Longo said. One morning, the zookeeper arrived at the giraffe barn, only to be greeted by the biggest surprise ever. A brand new healthy baby giraffe. Skyla was proud to be a new mother. Slurp, slurp. Baby's first breakfast was being served. It had been 13 years since a new baby born, had been born in the zoo, so they named her Patience. Patience lived a long time at the zoo and had lots of babies. And this is a picture of the real Patience and her baby. And it was taken by Chris Kaiser. The end.